Hey everybody, this is your boy Sherry Speaks, man. Before I get anything started, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys smash that like button, smash the subscribe button. And also subscribe to my boys, the middle boy gaming and he's coming from their games, their gaming and live streaming, they do some pretty dope stuff. You made me catch a boy up on there kicking some ass alongside them. Okay, in tonight's episode of Quilkin Back, it's season two, episode four, Rabbit Hold, we get a lot, man. We get a lot of stuff that's been held in by my boy Tyrone. Uh, we learn and find out what happened to counters after all this time. Actually, Tyrone, as a, now that I remember, in season one, in the season one finale, Tyrone sucked Connors into his cloak void. That's what I'm going to call it now. His, his cloak, Tyrone's cloak void. And with that being said, that's where he's been all this time, which is why you would look around and uh, within Tyrone's cloak void and see all these different areas. And one of them looking like as if someone has been camping out there for months, and it's been Connors. In fact, we know this because, and it's confirmed, because one, um, Sandy sees this badge, like when they go like near like the camping site area. We see all these different ponchos and so and some, so this and so forth. And then later on in the late uh, areas of the episode where we see uh, Mayhem trying to kill Connors, you know, we see Connors all, you know, washed up. Looks like he's been in Jumanji the first part or in Castaway, some stuff like that. And, um, and throughout the episode, we see Tyrone's past actions catch up to him. We know this because we see a local gang trying to get, go after him. And, you know, when he went to go visit his mother, Adina, she actually became a part of that problem as well. You know, because of his past actions, she's now in danger, which is why Tyrone tried to get her out of danger. But he couldn't teleport for some reason because Tandy was inside of him, trying looking for mayhem and so on. And the way that she found him was by uh, by seeing the younger Tyrone known as Papa Mystery. And Papa Mystery was trying to explain to her how all this works. You know, Tandy broke the rules. Um, by actually finding a piece of evidence of Connors and taking that with her. I believe Papa Mystery said something along, along the lines of or some variation of, in order to get out of here, you know, both you and Mayhem have to get up out of here. And doing so, Connors was released as well, because you see Connors break a window up to the church and so on. And we also see a bit of Adina and Tyrone have a heart-to-heart -heart while they're on the run from the police and the local gang as well. Uh, at one point, they were actually held up by a local gang member that Tyrone actually knew because the game member because he had Tyrone actually saved his life and um Tyrone actually you know was ready to face the music he says look mom I'll get arrested you know it'll all be over from now of course Adina being the mother that she is is not one of her to be that go down like that way seeing as though she lost both her sons from the looks of it at that moment to law enforcement and so that wasn't the case so but now mind you you know Connors is the only thing that is linking Tyrone to his innocence and going back to the life that he wants you know, at least from the uh, law perspective goes, not the street perspective. You know, and, so, and as Tyrone and his mother are having this heart to heart, explains to them how he knows about, you know, the vampires, you know, of uh, the church and so on like that. You know, that uh, with the school that uh, Adina and Tyrone were hiding out at. He even talks to her about Evita, you know, and even Tandy gets mentioned. And speaking of Tandy, we learn more about her as well while she's inside of uh, Tyrone's void. Uh, they go into like a little record shop, and we and while they're going into it, you know, we see Michaela's name plastered all over the place, as long as well as the names of the missing girls. And they're like in a record shop, and each and Tandy plays a couple records. Uh, one being when she was born, you know, her family, her father, um, being t putting his business and his work and his career ahead of his family. And his father turned out to you learn very at very late in the. Uh, First season that Tandy's father was that is not wasn't exactly the same that she grew up and knew him as. Uh, as as always, everyone's conflicted has their own little thing, but he was very abusive towards Tandy's mother. And we see light of that again, you know, when she's getting ready to go to ballerina practice and she has an argument with uh when uh, Tandy's mother has an argument with her father and he's, he hits her. You know, we see a little Sandy go outside, possibly waiting on the porch. And that actually leads Tandy to actually breaking the field of a couple of the records. And I'm so glad that Tandy stepped in to actually save Connor's life because he's really the missing link to um, Tyrone, you know, having a, a better life now. But he, now that he's on the run again, I wonder how that's all going to happen because Tyrone was ready to play some music with the cops and was almost damn near killed. And so when they actually teleported back to the damn church, Tyrone's like, wait, what the hell happened? And he showed, he said, Tandy, what the hell happened? And, and Tandy showed him the badge, Connor's badge. And so we'll see what happens. And this has been your boy, Sarah Speaks. Peace and love.